mm. which would be mental. But like, I think that's where their series is now. Or like, there's mm. a shaker still in the pool as well, which is really important. Yeah, I mean, James has played that hero so well. I doesn't. I don't know if if you're CDC, do you, you ban both? You know, either or the anti mage or the terrorblade. I think or you, you have just to go for sh- one. I think you have to ban the shaker because they've banned the clock as well. So they're saying like, we want shaker. Are you going to mm-hmm. ban a carry or are you going to ban shaker? And do you first pick TB? Off if that, they, off that uh, earth shaker. If they ban shaker, I think they'll first pick Mars still. Even though it's not been massively, massively successful, like in the last game. So they ban the Earth Shaker, which means no James Earth Shaker, and no PYW <laughs> Earth Shaker. Now the, the the TB is the big one here, right? Like, it's it's won every game in the last four times it's appeared between these two teams. Mm-hmm. So. They're thinking, like, do we just pick TB? But then the problem is ca- they can pick, like, Morphling on uh, the other team as well. Yeah, They just first pick They're it. I mean, they don't it. even want to mess around. They don't want to miss out on it. That's that, I, that here has so been, wise. That hero's been so good, though. Like, what, what's the reason not to pick it, right? Yeah. And the, the question is now for CDEC, like, what's their response to the TB? Like, you would assume they want to pick Morph second. So now if you're Vici... Do you want to, or like, if you let the Mars through here on Vici, they'll probably pick it on C deck as well. And then you have Mars mm. Phoenix, which is pretty good against TB. How, but again, like, CDC, they, they struggle when they leave. Or, well, I say that. They struggle when they leave Ame's pick for last, but. I think they'll pick Marana they've, here they've on Vici. They've done it. Yeah, I, th- I think they'll pick Marana here on Vici so they have something that hits the egg. And then they'll just look into their second Ooh, phase. They, no, just like, they do steal the Mars. Mars. I-, I think it's fine, though. Like, you don't want to give it away. Like, you've actually played oh. that here really well, too. Ooh. Wow. And they, they come right out of the gate with the Naga Siren. And that, uh, you know, I'm more surprised at the fact that CDC are willing to commit for Ame Zero this early on in the draft. This is the first time they've done it in all but, five games. No, they picked the Morphling in the first game, I think, right? When Because the, mm. they first faced the TB, but they didn't have last week in the... No, yeah, because in the f- in the first game of the series they did Mars, then C deck picked something, then Vici picked TB, and then they picked Morphling on C deck again. So it's not the first time they've had last pick in the first phase. I was lying, but it's now the first. Like I think this is the first big time I've looked at this and been like, this is a really good hero. Like because I think this hero has been second phase banned every single game so far. But hmm. I-, I think Naga does really well against TB, like. I think it's really strong because you have the, we've talked about this you have the window in the game where you get diffuse or manta and you can just run at the tb like some of the t- nagas haven't even been going diffuse though they just go manta scardi right because of how powerful scardi is this patch mm-hmm. and it makes your illusions really tanky as well i'm just I'm wondering what cdc are going to go with if we're going to see a completely different draft because they don't have the earth shaker to you know put on for james but it looks like he's going to be going on to the phoenix although i wouldn't be surprised at a five phoenix from cdc if the combination's mm. right potentially i think they're more likely to pick an ogre or something though both these teams mm-hmm. there's like they're five and yeah, i love being the... good with the naga i really want to see a lesh ban from um c deck next to protect this naga a little bit more like they yeah, could but we've Void seen the well. Lesh against multiple illusion oh, heroes, and they were fine. Yeah, so they wouldn't bad Void. They've got TB already. But... Hmm. I think Shadow Demon's a good ban as well. For like both these teams. Because I think if you don't ban Shadow Demon here on C-Deck or don't pick it, then they'll take it on Vici. Like every day of the week. It's, it yeah. lanes really well with Mars. It's a good save for TB as well. DUI plays it really well. Mm-hmm. And you can even play it on like position four as well for PYW. Thinking, uh, I'm automatically thinking Puck here. And they ban the Oracle. So they ban the save. I'd be so surprised if Shadow Demon goes untouched here. And it t- the Purge takes off Bloodlust as well. Like... Mm-hmm. 
the the only worry I have with Shadow Demon Four is that they don't have an egg hitter still. Like I mean, TB's okay, but I think it's too good to pass up. Hmm. Like it doesn't lane great against Naga, but she can purge off the the poison stacks. Yeah, but it's just it's so good for their lineup, and it gives them the save for the TB. Which means they're going to have to find a way to get right on top of this Shadow Demon. Which, at least right now, they don't have that. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of other fours they could pair with. Like, Shadow Shaman's still in the pool, potentially. Oh, and that should be D.Y. Wow. Elder Titan. Now, this is really cool. Whoa. Like, this hero is so good up against these, like, Aji carries. And they go Doom. So yeah. they go back into that Doom for SRF. I mean, they still need a mid, and your mids are very available. And now Vici are the ones who wow. go for Zeus. I mean, they, I... they need somebody for CDC who can get to the back lines, and I'm... Oy. They still this don't is... have an egg hitter, though. This could be a PYW Zeus as well. I don't think it has to be yeah. mid here. I agree with that. I actually really agree with that. This hero is so good with Elder Titan, though, the Zeus. Because when you throw the spirit onto somebody, it takes away their magic reduction. Mm -hmm. And when the Elder Titan runs in, if he ever gets like a BKB or something, I actually think this hero scales pretty well. Like, it could be four Elder Titan as well, and DY pick a different five. Like, they could still pick Shadow Demon, right? Yeah. Um, they could play pick a different mid hero last. I, would be, I think it's more likely to be Zeus mid Elder Titan five, and they pick a four that's different. But, like, Mars Zeus is still a decent lane, especially against Naga, because you have a lot of burst damage to come through. And she's all about the high armor, same as TV. Hmm. Ban the Void Spirit, and he's really one that could get to the back lines. It, with, with Zeus, is it any chance that you go sniper for CDC mid? Uh, I mean, they have Blink Mars, so it, it's tough. Yeah, I but, don't think it's easy. I don't. Think it feels will. like it's certainly doable with Bloodlust and have, maybe having that opportunity to sit back and try and hit in here. This, the Shadow Demon ban was really good as well. Like, there's no saves left really in the pool. Like, yeah. So. As for mids, though, TA, Void Spirit, Viper, Quap, Ember, all banned. I mean, what Kunkka's about, still available. What about Snapfire? For Vici? Yeah. Yeah, you can do that. Because uh, it kills well, the egg as well. Yeah, it does. I guess your Fire Snap is more aimed at the Mars, if anything. I don't know if this works, deal. but what happens if you gobble up somebody that's doomed? Do they just not die? Uh, I guess I the know. doom duration just ticks down without them taking damage. Like that sounds cool. Let's see what VG you're gonna do because, like you said, this could be PYW on that Zeus, and I wouldn't be too surprised that you could you could go. I don't know. The Kunkka didn't exactly seem that great. The disruptor would be okay. Your lockdown is pretty questionable right now for Vici, though. They have Arena, they have Spear, but yeah. the Could they go okay. Shadow Shaman? Oh. Yeah, okay. Damn this it. is cool, though. I like this. I was trying to get it before it came out. <laughs> <clears throat> hmm. The Kunk is still in the pool, but I, 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 they need something that catches the Zeus. Otherwise, it, it's going to be the exact same problem as last game, but for C-Deck. Like, you can't really pick Storm this game, I don't think. Like, Storm's not a good hero mm. at the moment because of the Kaya change. Um, would it... Oh. I was going to say, would it be worth even going Lashrak for CDC? Maybe, but... Pugna. Oh, Ooh, what wow. a Pugna that, game. That's the... F Is that the first Pugna pick all tournament? Dude, what a Pugna game, though. Whoa. Yeah, like that's the first Pugna game all tournament. It gives them like a pseudo save as well, like with the heal. 
it destroys TB illusions instantly with the life chain when you get like ags and stuff and you have no cooldown. It uh, destroys Zeus because of the Nether Ward as well. Like he can't cast spells. I'd be interested to see if XM takes Nether Ward at level one in that lane. I just tries to drain the Zeus's mana as much as possible. So, yeah, I can. I'm going for C deck. I'm get. I'm ordering the Kinder eggs in. Hang on. Where's the? How much? Do I'm so Kinder excited. Eggs cost. Bag it. We got it, boys. Potentially, maybe. Who knows? I, I mean, I like their draft. I, I think... I still don't know who their egg hitter is. I mean, TB. Yeah, I I think it depends a lot on the Shaman and the Elder Titan, though. Yeah. With, like, how much they can get done with their rotations. And I think SRF played this Doom so well last game that I would be... Yeah, I'd, I'd give him advantage, but I still think it's really close. Like, it's Terrorblade, right? Like, how do you bet against this hero when it's just been winning, like, every game so far, like, the last few days? Uh, the hero looks so good. Like, they've got Yang on Mars. Like, always playing Zeus is such a big question mark, but I think, yeah, the big question for me is how much this Pugna can get done for, for mm -hmm. C-Deck, at least. Like, it looks like a really good game for it on paper, but, you know, maybe he PYW just blinks in, hexes him, and he dies. Like, and then the Pugna's just so squishy that it dies straight away. I do hope that XM makes some good early rotations, though, um, to try and stop this TB from just free farming the jungle and things. Like, they get a good smoke between Ogre and Pugna, and the TB's dead every time because he has no yeah. HP. Like, he just dies to the magic damage. So, game five. I mean, this, this is setting up to be a good one. We've seen... Prepare for battle. Pretty much, you know some one-sided games and now i'm hoping that we finally get a mix just back and forth i'll just yeah, i'm glad we get game five like yeah it, it's so nice when you cast a, a series like this and it looked like it was going to be so one-sided at the start right when all of a sudden c deck turned their monitors on and they're like <laughs> here we go we're ready So how is this going to go for XM? Did he take anything yet? No. The, the problem with it, if he takes Netherward at level 1, the Zeus still has better base damage than him by quite a margin. It's like 12. But if you decrep for Zeus, he can still get last hits. Because he has spells. Mm -hmm. So it's not like it's... it's the lane isn't as uh, amazing as Pugner as it is in other lanes. Like, you know, we saw at True Sight, it was like... Pugner against TA and stuff, and like Pugner does really well in those lanes. It's a bit different against Zeus. The thing is, it's a good Pugner game overall when it gets to like the mid game and stuff. But again, the I, I still think they have begins. problems with getting on top of the Zeus. But th that's going to be SRF's job. And we've seen him on this hero always find the openings that he needs to. I think that's what he's, he's best at on this hero. Like he always finds the jump, he always finds the initiation. Oh, you did take blasts on XM. Okay. So let's see how this goes mid. You know, is the is the support combo here for VG good enough? It's different, but, isn't it? But yeah, it, yeah, it's definitely good enough. But this shaman hits really hard in lane as well. So even the Naga has high armor. Like PYW can still. Uh, pressure her a little bit with the, the the other shock as well like an ogre actually takes damage from shaman so that's the first time ever <laughs> do kind of does the same he was hitting for 52 plus 52 right there as long as he can get that extra damage he can really put some pressure on you can see srf already down to about half health and he's just going to come right on back over so an extra 52 damage once again srf gets backed off pretty uh pretty easily yeah, DY's doing a really good job in this lane. I will say, though, it is pushing in. So they are going to get the wave in their advantage. DY's going to have to try and pull here, but James is going to at least attempt to stop him from doing that. Looks like it's not going to happen, though. Yeah, or just give him the easy pull. <laughs> That's a great pull by DY, because he can defend it now. Like, he's playing Elder Tire. <laughs> Take a look 
back over bottom as Ame, he's sitting really low. Yang's looking for the opportunity to get a spear out, and he might still throw it. <gasps> On the mark, just not far enough. Dyer's courier has been killed. This time DY loses his courier, but James getting harassed by DY, who's got that 38 extra damage, so he's hitting for 90 right now. That'll finally fade oh, away. And then Pugna mid, he's gone Nether Ward as well as the Nether Blast. Yeah, but look at the TBCS, dude. Like DY's just won this lane so hard. And he, this is like he's got meta up in 40 seconds again. It's not like it's just because of the meta. He was just chasing them around. Here comes the spirit. Kachunk. <laughs> Hit them with that stapler, baby. Well, that's when, you know, you used to have this camp get stacked, which it is right now. And then you just send the spirit down into lane off heroes. Small camp stacked as well. And then and he's going to stack it. it again. He can get so much damage early on. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes level 3 into this spirit. Oh my god, this spirit's going to hurt. Watch. Yeah. And it's going to come across, hit these creeps, hit SRF, and all of a sudden DY's hitting for an extra 62 damage. You just got to continue to stack these camps. He's going to go for the pull as well. Oh god. This team, he's just farming. Like... And the, like, Nark is getting some farm bot now, which is nice, but it's not quite the same. Which is missing a few in comparison. I think yeah. the mid lane is the one that's going really well for a C deck, though. Yeah, Zeus only at 11 and 1 to the Pugna 17 and 5. He's gotten 2 on 1, so 2 in the Nether Blast, 1 in the Decrepify, 1 into the Nether Ward. Do you think the Decrepify is worth it? Uh. You know, are you, is it something yeah. you're going to be going into heavily first? I still think you want to max the blast. So, like, you, you want the one point in the nether ward. And you want mm -hmm. the one point in decrypt to play with your ult as well. Ogre picks up the invis rune here as well. And with the double mango on the pugna, they might look to make a play here potentially. No. Okay. Never mind. Elder Titan's actually coming towards mid, so that might open up things towards top. But he has meta going, like, so he doesn't even need the help like he did before. He has triple Wraith Band already on Eurus as well. Jesus. A PYW, bot lane. Yeah, they're trying to get this kill onto the Shadow Shaman. He's getting low. Victoria moving forward, but they just don't have the damage. Good body blocks from Yang as well. No, oh, he comes back. I'm not certain about I that. The ignite won't kill well. him. But bounty rings are about to spawn here. Ooh. What a bounty. I think that's top lane, SRF. A lot here for Vici and SRF on the run, but DY taking a lot of damage. If Chris dive, they'll get the kill. They do lose SRF. James gets at least one, and they don't finish off the TV. I think they got three bounty runes on Vichy as well, which is really nice. Yeah. The fact that the TB, I thought the TB was going to die as well, but that's then, yeah. He ran out of fire spirits. So. The fact that the TB doesn't die there and they kill the dude is still really big for Vichy. So, at what point does XM start moving around the map? Uh... It's difficult because he, he kind of wants to take the mid tier one tower with the blast as early as possible, but I don't know how easy that is versus Zeus. Maybe if he can, oh, maybe he can link up with um, potentially the Doom top when Doom hits level six, and they take the tower top or something. Xen picks up a regen rune. How much farm has he picked up top so lane. far? They're gonna go beat. Eurus here, but... And they actually just focus their attention on a DY. They've got a third hero, but the sleep on a two! Ooh, James in trouble! Thunder God's Wrath, they'll get the kill on a one! SRF, he's got oh, scorched yes. earth, so he should be okay. But Eurus burning out. The SRF, SRF is going tower. for it! He's, he's just tower. dead under tower! Yes. Victoria, no way he tries to get oh, this. Oh, God! <laughs> Go, oh, Go. yeah, he's he'll at least get it. So somebody finally takes Naga out the bot TV. Lane, though. 
Man, Nagasari oh. in some trouble. Ame! He's running from Yang as well as PYW, the Icarus Dive across, and now Ame's fine. Ame is on a mad one today. He is so angry after those first two games. Did he just avoid the spear with the mirror image? He did, yeah. Correct. I, I can see that, but I can't remember that. You can't do that. Okay, so look at this Pugna as well. I said I didn't know how easy it would be. Do you guys get chased again? Jesus. Yeah, and, and look at this. He's starting to really pick up. I can't. Why is he not finishing the tower? Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Is he trying to get PYW or something here? What's the? Could be. I, I mean, he's right on him. Victoria's gonna spot him. They've got the ignite. They'll have the stun, which means to crept find another blast as well as the life drain. Shackles come in, but eventually you will fall. It's just a matter of who will get that kill, and it ends up being Victoria. But the Zeus gets the deny on the tower because of it. I don't know if that's worth it. You just missed out on a lot of gold. Arc lightning the lane now. But I will say the side lanes are going really well for Vici. Like, look at the Terrorblade's net worth. He's a thousand ahead of the Naga already. Like, even after that death. He's farming incredibly well, and he picks up a brooch as well. Like, Ooh. okay, so he passes the brooch over, I assume. Yeah, and then, okay. Pugna's got the keen optic, and they're gonna try for top again, but creeps are right here. They're gonna just take the towers, and this is the one one of the things that I don't know if we really harped on too much is the pushing potential from this Pugna. You can start cutting out the map, and when you take away these towers and cut down where TV is able to farm, I think that might be where the biggest problems come from if you could take advantage of that. We've seen teams get tier 1, but they just don't get what they want. Stun comes in on a DUI, Yang makes the rotation, Thunder God's Wrath is used, they drop down the arena, but XM just walks out of it, Spear hits on the Ogre, XM still looking to try and get a kill on the DUI, but here comes Ori, XM's in the middle of no man's land with no trees to hide behind. He pops a salve, he stays alive, SRF staying in the front, and now XM. Spirit Does stops the salve, they'll focus on XM, they've got the sleep, they'll get the kill with the spear. XM's just running in circles, he's a chicken with his head cut off there. And they deny another tower. Yeah, like, imagine if the net worth of the two towers had been added on here for C-Deck, like, it would be much more even. They're gonna go on James, so he's gonna pop the egg, but... Can they hit it? No, they're just going to let Yang die. Really well played, though, by uh, by James. He's had a great series as well, to be fair. Yeah. You know, especially these last three games. So even and I didn't five, really know... But you look at the net worth, it's not really looking great. What were you going to say? I, was gonna say I, I didn't really know too much about James before this um, tournament we casted, apart from like that insane shadow sharding the game we'd seen from him before. <laughs> but I feel like... Dyer's We've seen him perform like on a different level here, so what I've, what, from what I've seen from him before at least. Yeah, I mean he's been with CDC for I think just over a year, but other than that he was with small teams. Like he he stuck around with uh, for the dream for a long time. I can't remember if he was on the for, for the dream uh, that qualified for was it ESL? I can't remember. It was one of the ESL tournaments. I, I think uh, I can't remember which one. They're gonna smoke up here with the Sharma Ward. So if this Pugna dies again, Xen's game is so hard. Like th this, this first death was bad, but like the second one would really cut him down. And they, yeah, they see XM in the back line. They're gonna drop down the Serpent Wards. Victoria though, he'll survive for a little bit longer. Yang taking a lot of damage. The Air Squitter comes in. Yang all of a sudden under the tower, he ends up dead. They get the kill to James as well as Victoria. So they've lost the two supports on the side of CDC. Serpent Wards will try to get the tier one tower. XM Radiant needs to tower. at He's least back off this. Yours with the Metamorphosis. They'll commit on the tier one with everything they've got. They only get supports, but they Dying lose their offlaner. So with XM not dying, Radiant's it's not terrible. And Ame, at where he's farming. Yeah, that was a great play by Victoria, though, on the Ogre. He basically just tanks the gank, and he's like, I, I'm going to die instead of my Pugner here. Like, I, I want them to run away as far away from the Pugner as possible. Can they go on DY here? No. He gets up to the high ground. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. And I love that Armist just taking over this top half of the map. 
because this is like the safest place for him to be at the moment because he knew they wanted to go for this bot tier one. And the net worth of the lead is basically zero at the moment. Like, mm -hmm. it, it's flickering between back and forth. Sim just continuing to farm. He's got 600 gold saved up so far, and he's got the Aether Lens being delivered in just a second. Can he grab the Tier 1 tower? That's really the question. He's Dude, taking out these Tier 1s all over the place as they get the Doom out on the Ori. They get a kill into the Zeus. Yang comes over, but I'm not really certain what he wants to accomplish by showing himself here. It's not really like he can do all too much, especially when he doesn't have that blink to initiate with. So the thing with the Zeus is at least he's finished the Aether Lens, so like he got his first time before that death, right? Like it's not good, it delays the axe, which is the big thing. But, you know, he, he does have his first item. Mm -hmm. And but SRF with the four points or sorry, three points in Devour at the moment, he hasn't leveled uh, Infernal Blade, so he is scaling really well. Like he, he's keeping up after this rough start that he had to the game. TP out from DY. He's actually heading towards top to the outpost. PYW's here, and they're looking to get a kill here on the Ame. Mm. Not easy until Shaman gets like the extra cast range Radiant's or a bling or whatnot, though. Attack. He's got Serpent Wards again if they want to try to pressure a tower, but over bottom once again. You know, Axum just committing, looking for the tier one, and actually looking for Yang, who is burning out. James gets the kill, and now with the glyph used, they should just be able to get the tower. Yeah, the, the tower's attention's on the, on the nether ward. The veil on the pugna amps up their damage. Like from the, not just the pugna, but the, the phoenix, the ogre as well, mid as well. They're chasing Ori down. Yeah, Ori's had some trouble after he's been doomed. Uh, Earth Splitter on the ogre. They've got Hex, Serpent Wards, they, they, SRF. Run. They don't catch him. He just runs away. What? So and now you've committed the Serpent Wards and... And your Earth Splitter. And you might just lose TB. Oh, Yuris! Blown up. Supernova committed. They get the life drain for the kill. Yuris is gone. Two minutes ago, didn't we say the net worth was pretty even? And all of a sudden it jumps. A couple of kills. A couple of misplays from Vici. Oh, this is bad. Bad for Vici fans, guys. Like, all of a sudden, like, the, the, the TB was so far ahead of the Naga before, but Ames just had so much, like, space to work with up here on the top side of the map without being contested. It reminds me of the Spectre game. Like, the, they might just get the first time. Icarus Dive once again. Life Dream comes through. Oh, oh my god. And this is the power of the Pugna. Like, oh he's just melting god. everybody he touches. In seconds. You can't blink. You'll miss it. And now it's a 4k net worth advantage. Like this Zeus and Mars, it feels like they've been the same net worth for about five minutes now. The you get the sweep onto the Phoenix. How close are you willing to get? This XM's still right here. He's, the same. he's just wise enough not to fight 4v1, but James is still alive. He dives away and oh you're just gonna lose the Elder Titan. DY's gone. Picks M! This Pugna pick, this last pick Pugna pick has been beautiful! Like, he's getting so much value out of the hero, and now Naga's 500 gold ahead of the Terror Blade. She's finished the Manta, and her farm speed's gonna be crazy. I can't believe it. They, they've and just they're, gone they're running from top even again, to 6k. Yang. And Yang, he'll just get doomed. Ignite comes in. Yeah, you've used your arena, but you're not getting away. We've got the stun from the Ogre Magi. We'll get the kill for SRF. Yang is dead for the fifth time. They have no tempo in their lineup on Vici because this this Mars has just been killed over and over again, Radiant's so he can't get blinked. And this Zeus can't do anything till he gets axed. This is what we were talking about last game. But like XM managed to find the uh, find the farm before Vici did anything. Cedar aren't going to make the same mistake. Like, they will run at you. And they will punish you for this greed of the Zeus. Yeah, XM. He's got Dagon 1. He's got a Blink Dagger queued up as well as the four other recipes to get to that Dagon 5. Dyer's Blink top Dagger top picked up for SRF. He's got the Blink as well as the War Stomp. Uh, so, the control is there for SRF. And now, DY 
No, he's gonna get just TP. TP's away. And a 7k lead all of a sudden. Like, where's that come from? It, it, it's like, if you look at the net worth graph, it was flat for so long. Dyer's structures are fortified. I just shoots Radiant up so Bottom quickly. Tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. So, Naga's Iron. Manta into the Scotty. They've smoked up. If they could get the TB again, Eurus' game gets slowed down once more, and that's going to be a big problem. It's one of the things that most teams haven't been able to accomplish is shutting down this TB. Eurus has to go BKB. If Eurus doesn't go BKB, I don't know how he lives. Like, this Scotty is obviously really good on TB, but like, this Pokemon is destroying your hero. And they see P... Well, sorry, they see the smoke coming down towards the bot lane from... But PYW, it doesn't matter, he still gets caught. Yeah, War Stomp comes in, Inferno Blade, they have the lockdown, Sunray right on top of him, he's dead on his screen already. And they get the kill into PYW, they also take it as Courier. So, a big chunk of gold going the way of CDC again, now they're up 8k. CDC are not slowing down, and this is, you know, we've, we've talked pace and pressure all, you know, the last 10 days. And this Pugna brings it. Brings the pace, brings the pressure, and we're 18 minutes in, and it's an AK lead for CDC. I just, I just don't know what's happened. Like, it, it's bizarre. When they get the Ags on the Zeusa, they can make plays. Like, because the Shaman can find people with Hex and Shackles with the Nimbus on top. And like mm -hmm. we've talked about how good this zeus Elder titan combo is together when you get more points attack. in Natural Order. So it's not like VG are completely down and out yet, but this Naga is... Not just like the Pugler has just been destroying everybody, but the Naga is really ramping up the farm. Yeah, Naga Siren continuing to outpace attack. this Terraboid. Going into the Scotty. Uh, you know, Blink Dagger is finally picked up for the Mars, so you do have that initiation with the Blink as well as the Arena. However, we'll see how much that matters. CDC, if they're an item ahead on a couple of these heroes, your Blink initiation may not be enough. So 8,000 is the number at the moment. Vici trying to claw their way back in and avoid the reverse sweep. Dyer's this would be devastating. Under attack. It's almost ridiculous how well CDC have turned <laughs> it around in three games. It was like they swapped out their B team for their A team, you know? <laughs> like, they, they could make five substitutions at half time kind of thing. That's what it, like, that's how different they're playing from the first <laughs> two games. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. And not only that, but I think their drafting was so much better as well in like game three or five. It feels like they've adapted really well as the series has gone on. Yeah. And they're going to get this tier two bot actually with the Shaman Wards. Okay. Well, they, it's a question of what they might lose. PYW is in trouble. Icarus dives Supernova. Eurus. They spot him, and SRF, he's got Blink in got the just a couple of seconds. Now they've got the Doom out onto the TV. They're going to continue to give chase. The arena's down. DY's dead. Two supports gone inside Naga, of Vici. And can they catch on the song? Oh, no. On the edge, they got it. They're pinging. They want him. Eurus, he's in the trees, and they got to find the vision. They'll get the kill on a Yang. They'll look over at Eurus. They'll find the damage to get the kill, and four heroes gone on Vici. 11 thousand net worth lead for the side of CDC. My goodness. I mean, they I... are heading towards a, a victory here against a stacked lineup of teams. It, I, and I don't, I don't know when the last time CDC won a huge tournament was that had this kind of talent Dyer's in it. Middle tower is under attack. it. It's been forever. Yes. And it's, it's so nice to see, like, we ha I'm going to go back to this again. They almost Dyer's lost in the group stage. The only reason they went through is because Vici threw a game against them. Yeah. And how poetic is it? How poetic is it that in the final, Dyer's Vici are 2-0 up and see it come back?
and what looks like it's going to be a 3-2 win for them. Yeah, obviously, the game not over just yet, not and anything can happen on a good high ground defense, but barring that, I mean, the storyline here is, is City C and how they are a tier 4 dive not happening away to being eliminated. Oh, he dodged the spear again with Manta! They go after PYW, SRF with the BKB beam pop. They go for Shadow Shaman first. They'll Yo. take out one, then take out Yang. Yuri's trying to right click and do whatever he can to find a couple of kills here, but it's just not going to happen. The army is something else, actually, this, this series. Like, his older brother has absolutely ruined these last three games. Radiance Middle Tower is like, under attack. I cannot believe how many things he's dodged with, like Manta and with just good timings. <laughs> so they've, they've got the Aegis. They have everything, it, you know, they need to finish this game. And TB isn't even going for this BKB, remember? He's going for the Scardi. So... Like, he needs the BKB again before he can actually fight against this Pugner and everybody. And even then, there's like a decrep and things to stop this TB from just bursting somebody down with physical damage. PYW evaporates in the mid lane. <laughs> now, I said, that, in the, I said in the Jesus. job, this Pugner pick was good, by the way. I didn't think it was going to be this good. Yeah, to the tune of 4, 1, and 7, and just a Dagon 4, almost a Dagon 5, 23 minutes into the game with Aetherlands, Bottle, Treads, and... Sitting second of the net worth. Sixteen K lead again, barring a tier four dive throw. CDC looking like they've just reverse sweeped. I've just seen someone in chat say, "Oh my god, there's an eight K lead already." Uh, I hate. To, I mean, they're going to go mental when they see what happens in the next few minutes after that. Jesus. Ori, like, the Zeus, his farm really... He's only 1-1-5. One, one like, he hasn't died much, but he hasn't really felt effective either. And he's going into the BKB. Uh, Scotty for Yuris. And I agree. I just don't think this is the item that he needs. How do you not go BKB? It's not a bad item, but, like... Yeah. It's, I don't know. But they're so far behind, I honestly don't think it matters. Like... They're all just going to have to TP out down here. I mean, PYW's, yeah, he's just walked all the way down and just TP's out straight away. BKB next for the Naga Siren, almost on that. Is it going to be the Dagon 5, or are you going to save for Blink? Might as well go Dagon 5, right? If you meet Dagon 5, yeah. He's, he's going Dagon 5. Dagon. Dagon. <laughs> Scardy. Song, song used here on a DUI. They've got the control, they'll use the ensnare, they'll get the kill. Ame with another one. And, uh, you know, still holding on this Aegis, 18,000, 19,000 net worth. We full out buy on the BKB, going in next to the Butterfly. Still no answers for VG. He changes his mind on Naga. I think this Abyssal's better than the, the Butterfly. I think they have, they have ways of clearing illusions. There's like the Elder Titan, there's the Zeus as well. I think you just want to make sure you're really strong in these big engagements now, especially because you want to be going high ground relatively soon. Like, with probably with the second Aegis, I would imagine. Blink Arena. Arena. They got the spear, so all of a sudden, XM gets blown up, and that's exactly what they TB want. TB gets doomed, a big though. damage dealer, but now TB's been hit with the doom. They're chasing Sunray on him. Yuris is dead regardless, so even though they got the Kona XM, it's really not going to work out too well for him. Supernova used, and they'll get the pop. Ame, uh, barring diving the tier fours. BKB gets popped. He avoids the stop. He'll get the kill on the other side. Earth Splitter doesn't matter. Jumping forward is SRF. He's hexed up, at least by PYW, so he'll start to retreat. The buyback's used by the Elder Titan. Ame okay, now really in deep. the Serpent Wards, and yes, they are very far, but he's got two lives. So there's the Nimbus right on top he's of the Nimbus. They'll the get Nimbus, the first though. life out of his hands, and. I don't know. Naga Siren might be in some trouble. They've got the spear, and they're going to get the kill on the Naga Siren a second time. Barring a dive, this game looked over, but there's your dive. Superman Army. More. 
And the, yeah, Victoria the on the oh, run. Okay. Spear doesn't land onto okay. a tree or anything, so Vichy will have to let that go. He's got a haste regardless. Oh, is PYW uh, dead? PYW? Oh, He's my gone. God. Dude, this ogre. Oh, he does my not God. care. God, Yang. Dude, get that haste. Go, ogre. Go. Come, Victoria. Just chasing, looking for the vision, gets the stun. There's no way he should be able to kill Yang right here. Go on, get him. They see Yuris on the is side. Wait, uh, so is XM. Yuris? You're gone! That's why and I think you need I to be. I think Ori's kidding. next. Ori's getting chased down by SRF. They'll throw down the oh, Nimbus. Ori, though, he'll still die. Oh Double God. kill for SRF. Taking names, just taking it. numbers. GG is called. The reverse sweep is complete. CDC are your tower. champions. Oh, here oh come the moves. Oh, my moves. God. I can't believe it. I honestly cannot believe it. What? What do From you say? From down 2-0. -oh. What do you From say? Like Kinder eggs. That's it. That's all you say. <laughs> oh, my dad's Kinder Egg Factory is going to be in such high production now. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe they pulled it off, and they pulled.